our channel. Today I'm actually putting on makeup so I wanted to film it and get a new tutorial out. Today I'm using the Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette. This came out last month and it's fabulous. If you don't have any Lorac palettes, they're probably one of my favorite brands for eyeshadows. There's obviously three of these palettes and they are all my favorite. These are the shadows. They're extremely pigmented and super, super soft, super buttery. They're so easy to blend. I really, really like smoky brown eyes right now. I think they're really pretty for fall, especially with a nude lip or berry lip or red lip, whatever you want to do. I'll show you all how to get this look in the video. So if you want to know how I got it, just please keep watching. Thank you. I said that for like 10 seconds. Thank you. <laughs> okay, my hair is still wet because I always do my makeup first and then fold my hair because I hate doing my hair, but I love doing my makeup. I already moisturized my face using the Sheer Transformation Cream from Ole Henriksen. And they sent this to me a few weeks ago and I've been using it every day and I really, really like it. Good stuff. Okay, I'm gonna use my MAC Pro Longwear Foundation. This is in the shade NC25. And I always put it on my hand. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my Flat Top Kabuki Brush from Sigma. This is the F80 brush. Um, today's foundation is going to be full coverage because my skin is Cray, cray. Um, I'm not putting anything under my eyes right now because I have to color correct still and put my concealer on. I don't ever put foundation on under my eyes. Then I'm gonna go with my color correcting stick from Cover FX. This is in a peach shade. I have a dark band under my eye that shows through. So I'm just gonna apply this peach color to it. Now I'm just gonna kind of just buff out the edges with my super clean concealer brush. I'm not gonna actually touch the brush where I really, really wanna cover because I don't wanna take any of the product off. So I'm just gonna kind of lightly blend it in. And see without concealer how much that's already helped. So yay, color correctors. And then I'm gonna go in with this Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Um, this shade is way too light for my face, but I do like how bright it is. So I'm gonna put this on and then go over top of it with like a medium shade. I really, really like this concealer. Now I'm gonna go back in with this concealer brush from Sigma. This is the F64. Not really rubbing it, I'm just patting it in. Because I'm going to go in with my beauty blender in a minute. And really buff out the edges. And I'm also going to take my beauty blender and go over my lid. And then I'm going to be careful about this area because of my vein. I don't want to lift too much product off. Up because I really didn't put that covered up. And the Beauty Blender does a great job at lifting up product because that's what it's for. Now I'm gonna go back over that tart with just a little bit of Pearl Longwear just to deepen that color and a little extra coverage. Okay, now after you do your under eye, you wanna set it right away. So I'm using Cody Airspun today. This is Six dollars at Walmart and it's bay. Make sure there's no creases before you set. Like you don't want to set creases because that would just defeat the purpose of even doing this in the first place. If you've ever heard anyone talk about baking concealer or cooking their face or whatever, this is what they're talking. Ow! This is what they're talking about. So what you're doing is you're laying on the powder so thick that it's literally heating up the concealer underneath your powder and melting it into your skin, AKA baking it into your skin, AKA cooking it into your skin. So while this is cooking, I haven't set anywhere else. So I'm gonna go in with my Dior Air Flash foundation and I'm gonna spray this directly onto the Beauty Blender. This is where the extra coverage for my face comes in because um, I have some dark spots and stuff that I just wanna cover down here. So this is just great for like laying on over top of your foundation. Okay, so now that that's on, now we need to set it all over the face. So I'm going to go into my MAC Studio Fix um, powder. This is also a powder foundation. So this is our third foundation that we're using for the face. What's wrong with me? And then just lightly buffing it with a thing. 
whatever this is called, fluffy brush. Now we're gonna go in with this fluffy brush. This is from Coastal Scents and my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Powder and Milk Chocolate and just start bronzing up the face. This is not contouring, this is just bronzing. This is just bringing some color back into our skin. So I don't look so like one dimensional here and like a freak. This is kind of like you have a transition color for your eyes. So this is kind of my transition color for contouring. Just the lighter shade that the contour will blend into. And take a fluffy brush, go down my nose. Now I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. This is um, to contour with. Okay, I'm going to use this angled brush from Sigma. This is just a large angled contour brush F46. I'm going to go with the middle shade from Kat Von D. Start right here at your ear, at the top of your ear, and just follow this line down. If you can't find it, just suck your cheeks in. And then you want to go slightly higher. You only want to bring about midway down your face because you don't want to bring it all the way down to your mouth. That would be weird. What I like about using a fluffy brush just to start is that you can really just buff it in. I'm holding the brush like way here at the end so that you just have a really, really light hand with it. Just kind of blending it upward, back and forth. Okay, now to the other side. We go with this darker shade and we're just gonna go about this far out with it. Cause this shade is super, super dark, so you have to be really, really careful with it. Now I'm gonna go back in with my Cody Airspun. I'm just gonna clean up this contouring line with this powder. I'm gonna dust up this from underneath my eye. Now I'm gonna kind of buff this away. Okay, so at this point, everything should be set on my face. I'm pretty sure. Okay, my camera just like crapped its pants. I don't know what it just did. Okay, and then we're gonna use the Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette today because these are my favorite palettes. First, we're gonna go in with Toffee. This is just the light shade that all the other colors are going to kind of blend into to make a really nice pretty fade. I'm gonna add a little bit more and just not take it up as high this time. And then I'm gonna go in with the brush that comes with all the Anastasia palettes. Um, I love this brush, it's just one of these little double-sided brushes. Um, but then I'm gonna go in with the shade Walnut. With this, I'm just gonna kind of push it into my crease. And then once all of it's off the brush, you can just kind of blend it out. Okay, I'm actually gonna go back in with this Walnut shade and just put it a little bit more on my outer corner here on my lid. Okay, then I'm gonna go back in with that fluffy brush and use toffee again and just kind of blend it back in there just so that they really, really blend well together. I'm gonna go in with hickory and apply it to the outer corner just to darken that a little bit more. And I'm gonna bring it farther in on my lid because of the brown smoky eyes. So I'm just gonna blend it up into your crease a little bit. Then I'm gonna go in with this vintage shade and just kind of use the same brush and just do it towards the inner corner. It's not gonna be much of a difference, but whatever. See, so yesterday I used, I mixed Bellini and Kava together and went on the inner corner. Then I'm gonna just kind of buff it out with a fluffy brush. Now I'm going to do the under eye and I'm just going to kind of go back in order of the shades that I used before. So I'm going to use Toffee and then probably just this um, 217 brush. Then I'm going to go in with Walnut. I'm going to kind of blend it to this outer corner here. Then I'm going to go in with Hickory and then I'm going to kind of just push it here on my lash line. Then just take any kind of clean fluffy brush that you have and just kind of buff it all out. And then I also will buff it out the bottom and then kind of circle it around to the top. And 
And so I'm just gonna take this gel liner. This is from this Maybelline Eye Studio in Black is Black. I'm just gonna kind of push the liner into my eyelashes here. But I don't want that separation from my eyelid to underneath my lash line, so see the difference that makes? It just makes it look just finished, I guess. Okay, then I am gonna go in with a little bit of that eyeliner. I'm just gonna kind of tap it on above my eyelashes. I'm not gonna make it real thick. I'm gonna go in with this same short stubby brush, but I'm barely just gonna smudge it. Like I don't wanna go crazy and get it like up into my crease or anything. I'm gonna go in with this mascara that is nameless from Marshalls. <laughs> I don't ever splurge on mascara just because I wear fake lashes every day. So not every day, but you know, when it matters. And when it doesn't matter, I don't care. Okay, so see how it looks like my lash is sticking up? It's not really, it's just because where I pinched them into my real lashes, I kind of rubbed off that gel liner on my waterline. So that's why it's really important to tight line. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in and highlight with my Champagne Pop. And this is a highlighting brush from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is A23. This is just to make your cheekbones So for lips, we're going to just do this nude combo that I do all the time. We're going to use MAC Strip Down Liner. I use this one a lot. And this is Naked from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm gonna dry my hair real quick and put my extensions in and pop back on here. Now that Keisha's life is not consumed by cheerleading, we can finally start making some more videos. Let us know what you wanna see. We don't know if we should do challenges or stick with tutorials. Should she do my hair? Should I do her makeup? Should she do my makeup? I don't know. Like, subscribe, comment, whatever you wanna do. Share the video if you like it. So that's it, thank you, bye.